How's everybody doing today? It's Tuesday after the family day long weekend. I'm still just waking up. Um, I think today I'm just gonna go ahead and get this clutch pedal and possibly this brake pedal installed. Um, so let's right, get so at it. The first thing I'm gonna do, just to make my life a little bit easier, is pull out this front driver's seat and obviously this mat as well. That nice hole. Good reason why I'm changing the carpet. Okay, so you're gonna put the seat all the way back. And then these plastic clips right here come out. Like that. And then that gets you your access to your bolts. Which I'm pretty sure are 13s. I don't know exactly in one second. Okay, so they're 14s, not 13s. And then watch, I'll go grab a 14 and it'll be a 15. Let's just check it out. Okay. Yeah, okay, so they're 14s. There's two at the front, and then there is two at the back on either side, so let me get that going. Take off the Alright, now there's two connectors. This one right here is for the uh, side airbag, and this one right here is for all your electrical controls, so on the back of the seat here. Right here, that's for the airbag, for the side airbag here. And then this is for all your electrical controls that runs all these motors back here. So, now that that's out, as you can see, got a nice amount of room here. Now I'm probably gonna pull this bottom plastic piece just to give myself a little bit extra room. And, uh, yeah, get at that. Fill up right here. Now pull out. Just sort the bullets.
All right, now I got all this room. After pulling down all the panels and stuff inside, I realized that someone used to have a remote starter tapped into here. And uh, these should never be used. If you're ever gonna use these, just don't even do wiring, literally. Never, ever, 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 ever use these. Garbage. So, it was obviously tapped into the BCM over here and into the ignition. So I just took all the wires off, cleaned everything up, some electrical with some liquid electrical tape and then wrapped it with some actual tape and then heat shrinked any of the ones that I could heat shrink. So that's back and good now. Now the first thing you're gonna have to do, I'm gonna start obviously with the brake pedal. I'll grab a light here. So the first thing that you're gonna have to remove is going to be this actual box here. So you have a bolt there, right there. And you also have a, let's see if I can get this, that gold bolt right up there. So you're gonna drop both those down and that's actually gonna remove this. This is the skid module or the track control ABS computer, whatever you wanna call it. And then uh, that way I can get enough space up here at the top to undo the bolt. Because I have enough space to undo this pin. So there's a little pin right here that you push out and then this little rod slips out. And that's for the actual brake booster itself. And that's what pushes into the brake booster as you can see right there on that pin. So I'm going to start off by undoing this actual body control module for the ABS and stuff, and I'll get back to you. All right here, so here's that computer with that one bolt up here that I was talking about and that other bolt over here on the side. Now both of those gold bolts, bolts are 10 mils. And what I did is I just used an extent, three inch extension with a deep 10 mil on uh, Milwaukee gun and it just pulled it right out, not too tight. Now, what you gotta do, see if I can get up in there is there's a gold bolt let me see here see that gold head right there or that gold bolt so that's the one side and then the other side is it's really tight down here so this is hard the other one's up there and so if you pop that bolt off and then you pop out this pin right here with this little cotter pin on the other side, this bracket back here is the exact same for both the auto and the manual brake pedal. So in that regard, I've got this brake pedal here. Okay, so both these brackets are the same. This bolt that I was talking about up there, this is the head on the one side. Uh, this is, sorry, the nut on the one side. And this is the head of the bolt over here on the other side. And then that pin that I was talking about with the cotter pin goes right through here. Okay, so let me start off actually by just cracking this one loose. Okay, so it goes nut, washer, and then the bolt. And there's no washer on the other side there. And then this just slides out like that. And then you can take a small flat, and you're gonna push down on this like that. Like 
that. There we go. Okay, so this is the only piece we're changing. Like I said, this is the exact same piece. Now that I showed you how to do that, I'm gonna go and remove this stuff from underneath the car and I'll get back to you. So I got those, that nut and bolt down. Now, what you're gonna have to do, as you can see, see the spring that goes from there over into the hole? You're literally just gonna pull that spring out and you're gonna push this cotter pin out like this. Get in. Okay, so right, here, so here's that cotter pin that was in there. The push pin or whatever you wanna call it. Now, as you can see, this spring, literally just pull it off of this little loop here, right there, and then you can just push this through. Let's see? Okay, so there you go, that's that pin. Now, this whole pedal assembly is loose, as you can see. Now I just have to disconnect this wiring right here and up here, like I did on the one on the bench. And then I'll right, get so back. Now that I got the pedal disconnected, or the wiring disconnected, now this pedal can come straight out. Now I'll show you what the difference is between these two pedals. So, like I said, this wiring is all the exact same. For the brake, that's your stoplight switch. So it measures when this presses down and then turns your actual brake light on. So the automatic brake pedal, see how obviously big the pad is compared to the manual brake pedal. Now the other difference is, is that the bend in the actual pedal is much greater for the manual. See how this is a lot more straight and this one has quite the kick to it. So, make sure that all the bushings and everything are in there. These are the old ones. These are the new ones. Just make sure everything is exactly the same. All right. So I'm gonna go pop this girl in there. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that this actual piece of the pedal here slips in through where this grommet piece is. Like that. You wanna make sure that you're going in between this piece for the actual brake booster. Alrighty, let me get this bolted up at the top and I'll get back to you. All right, so that was successful. So like I said, I just put in that top 14 millimeter bolt that you can see the head to right up there. And then uh, you push this pin through from the left side to the right side. Then there's a little, I'm not sure if you can see where the spring sits. It's in that little groove there. And that holds the pedal back out. And then there's this little pin right here. I like that cotter pin style that I showed you. And then the wiring just gets tucked back up. So there's a clip over here and then this clip right here and then it goes into the center which is for your stop switch or your brake light switch. So yeah, that's all in there and good to go. So now let's move on to the clutch pedal. And for that, first thing that we're gonna have to do is mark um, this actual section here and drill it out. So let me get the tools acquired and we'll get Getting started. The clutch pedal ready. There's this piece of foam uh, cutout piece that actually sits on the inside. So inside the firewall in this location, right? Like that. And you pull that out from inside there. And then what you do, you bring it over and you match it with your master cylinder. So for instance, this master sits like this and you'll notice that this actually has a little bit of an oblong shape to it. So you wanna bring it over 
figure out which way it goes. So it goes this way, this end down. And you wanna come over to your master. So you're gonna see that this one's down. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to match this side up with that side and this side up with that side. Now, when it comes to measuring this out, what you're gonna to have to do, this is more or less to get the sides and you're gonna actually compress it and push it down and then mark where it is on there. What I did after that was I took my actual clutch pedal, I took this housing, and as you can see, there's these two holes, which are two holes that line up at the sides. And what you're gonna do is, as you can see, my mark's in there, and my mark is in that side. And then what you wanna do is kinda line up the center so you can get a center mark in there so you're not drilling off. So as you can see, the first mark that I put was a little bit too far to the left because trying to compress this, this kind of moves around and whatnot. And then, so the center piece needs to be cut out with a hole saw. And what you're gonna wanna do is get a hole saw that is the closest to that. So it's actually a little bit small, but then afterwards what I'm gonna do is, I'll just take this die grinder and I'll just enlarge it a little bit if I have to because you'd rather it be tighter than looser because you want this to actually kind of make a seal so no water gets inside. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a little bit of silicone on this and that way I can actually mark what's going on here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of silicone on here. What it's gonna allow me to do is mark where all my pieces are gonna be. So for instance, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over. Like I said, make sure you have this in the same orientation as you had it set up in the first place. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually put it down and try and line this up as perfect as possible. And now you can see I have my three marks. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my master, I'm gonna go over, find a drill that looks this size. So that's pretty much, that's exactly it. So this is a 5 16 So I'm gonna drill two 5 16 holes for the two outers. And then I'm gonna hole saw for that piece. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, it might be a nightmare to use this because I'm not gonna be able to get a straight in angle. As you can see, there's no way to get this straight in because there's no way my drill is gonna fit back there. So what I'm actually thinking I might do is this right here. Okay, so this is actually a step bit from worth. And I'm wondering if that's thick enough. It actually looks like it's just perfect, to be honest. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, because that way I can still go in on a tiny bit of an angle. As long as I hold it to the one side, it won't slip. So, we get set up, and we're gonna get taken care of that. All right, so we got our 5 16 on the drill. Put it in as far as possible. All right, so now, so the drill doesn't slip. I'm gonna literally just punch these holes just so I can get a little starting point. I'm gonna start with a smaller drill bit first.
to the world. All right, now it's gonna be easier for me to do from the inside, so I'm gonna go and drill these two holes outwards from the inside. Get that little white down. No rust. I don't want no rust. Okay. Now that, that makes a nice tight fit, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pop this back on here. Now the smaller one's a 12 and the bigger one's a 14. I'm just gonna tighten this up. All right, now she's tight and back on its marks. So now we can go and throw this girl in. Well, do not make the same mistake I just did. We're gonna do that backwards because I want that seal to be tight enough or that hole to be tight enough that it actually seals against this rubber grommet but this is clearly a tiny bit bigger than this rubber grommet. So I'm gonna take her back off and I'll put it on inside the car. All right, so here's a little update. I got the clutch pedal in. Now, ran into a couple issues. Uh, one of them being, I'm not sure if you can, let's see if I can get this angle here. You see that little silver bolt up there? You see that? That's at the top of the clutch pedal, okay? And to get to that bolt, you need to actually remove these two BCMs that sit right up in here like this. Okay, so there's one 12 mil that you're gonna drop down that goes through here and holds both of these together, it's right here, okay? And for that clutch pedal to sit in properly, there was this bracket which is bolted in to where that silver bolt that I just showed you on the top. So you actually have to remove this bracket and what it does is it holds one of these clips in. And so you gotta remove both of these because this is for auto chassis only. Let's throw them out. And then you can actually throw a bolt up in. Now the bolt that they that you pulled out of there is too short. So what I did is I actually grabbed an M6 by I think 35. Use a lock washer, a flat washer, and then zipped her up in there. So that's that. Now what I have to do, so as you can see, it's solid. What I gotta do now is button up this stuff, get this stuff back up in there. I'm gonna put this skid control module or ABS or whatever the hell you want to call it 
back in there as well and uh, I'll show you guys what we're looking at now the other thing that I noticed too when I started installing my clutch pedal is that I'm missing the pin that goes through the master there or yeah through the clutch master see how there's nothing in there there's an actual pin with a cotter pin which was the same as the brake booster that I did on the other side over here like that pin right there so I need one of those and uh, the clutch is also missing the clutch spring so I'm gonna have to order both of those but that's no big deal probably get those in a day or so so let me get these BCMs in there and I'll show you what she looks like with a finished product all right guys so this is what we're working with as you can see gas manual brake pedal manual clutch pedal solid solid so as you can see if you can see so that's all done clutch pedals all done and tight i just actually put a bolt in through where i need the pin i still need a spring but the bcm's back up these bcm's are back up and everything's literally installed like factory so that is how you install a brake and clutch pedal for a manual swap on a lexus is 300. now the other thing that i need to do is i'm actually going to be deleting this portioning valve and just putting a union in now we get a nice a lot better clutch feel um i'll be taking care of that probably afterwards probably when I run this clutch line. To be honest, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm like debating on whether or not I'm actually gonna use this OE clutch line or not. And run it down. Or if I should just buy a braided line from Drift Motion for like, I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with that one. So. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions on how to do this, just let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take it easy, guys.